Hello and welcome to another texture pack review. Today I have Robo Realism made by Rope. This was recorded since June the 17th. Now, first of all, I like the, the change on the user interface. Sure, it was just went from gray into red, but it is a change and it looks nice. As for the Minecraft logo, I would suggest lowering the brightness on that logo. It's just way too bright. And for me personally, the color red uh, hurts my eyes too much. But it's just the logo and it, you know, it can be easily ignored. Now the sun and the moon is not finished. The rain, I set it up there because I'll be doing something special later on to show you guys. Here we have the TNT top and the, the sides which looks pretty okay. Now I'm not sure if you guys managed to see that but the explosion is finished. The Most of the items are not done like the bow, the critical hit particle the arrow itself they're not finished the fishing rod is also not finished neither are the experience orbs now I've been reading a couple comments and there's uh, a few things I will be showing you guys the map is finished uh, let's spawn a piggy which actually the, the pig is completed he looks a little bit more pink <laughs> love particle is not done but as always we have to kill the piggy <laughs> <laughs> Fried pork chops. Here we have the wood and stone pressure plates. Here we have Hello Nikolai, which I haven't I uh, haven't gotten a closer look at the signs. America the Free, Alex and Joe, and uh, Blackie over here. <laughs> Thank you, my my subscribers, for leaving comments about the cat's names. So here we have an extra bed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we have the beds. The fire particles, lava, and water are not finished. Neither is the boat, and I think neither is the lily pad. Switching to our heads up display or HUD, uh, they're not finished neither. Well, this is a work in progress, I, I should have mentioned that, <laughs> obviously. Uh, the glass texture looks default, it's just that the white out uh, the outlines were made brighter. Uh, mine cards are not done, iron bars look the same to me back there. Levers are finished, the pistons are finished, and they look great. I like the smooth texture that he went for. Uh, redstone, red torches, inactive redstone dust, normal torches which look normal. <laughs> uh, the booster rail on and off, detector rail, normal rail, I'm going too fast, ice, snow, sponge, glowstone which looks way too blurry, pumpkin, jack-o-lantern, the redstone lantern which I, ex I love it more when it's off rather than on. TNT and stone. Oh, me taking a breather. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. I, I wanted to criticize the textures, but I, I just kept going with the review, so sorry. Gravel, cobweb looks nice. Sand, clay, brick, grass. I'm sorry, dirt and then grass. Stone brick, mossy, crack, and chisel, which is the fault. Sandstone, chisel, and smooth with the sandstone top. The ladders. Stone, cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, soul sand, nether rack, nether brick, all of the ores, which by the way I don't like how the redstone ore looks because it unmatches with all of the other ores. So it looks very off place. Uh, as the soul sand, I like that face. <laughs> very nice. Gold, iron, diamond, and lapis lazuli blocks, the bedrock, and the obsidian, which look amazing. I like those those blocks. Uh, the jungle sapling for some reason has that that transparency issue. Uh, the top of the wood, jungle wood, birch wood stuff, redwood stuff, and oak wood stuff. Here we have all of the wall textures. Pretty standard, no complaints on the wall. Here we have the yellow and red flowers, tall grass and the fern, the cauldron. Very nice. Uh, the oh hey the watermelon has a pixel issue. So does the saplings. Unfortunately, uh, he he needs to fix those those pixels. The wheat, the sugar canes, red and brown mushrooms. The mycelium has an interesting design where it looks like normal grass, but it has that like that purple contaminated on the top. So a very nice design there. The cactus has also took an interesting approach because if you cut it, it, it you know the top of the top side does look like if I slashed it. So that's very nice. The only downside is if <laughs> that if you look at one that's already full grown, uh, it looks like it's last at the top. But um, no, it looks great. It's a little bit different. 
It isn't like an actual cactus top though. Uh, the cake is finished. As mentioned, most of the items are not. The diamond and iron bar are. And also the gold bar. Mm, let me see if there's anything else. I think between the signs, the sign is also finished. Oh, I, I can't tell. Uh, something I will confirm is that none of the GUIs are finished, so I will be skipping most of them. Uh, there was a recent update, which is why I'm checking them. Oh, oh, the dispenser has uh, another uh, transparency issue. Which, again, this is all unfortunate. The furnace, active furnace, the note block, the jukebox, the wooden doors. I like how they look. They almost look realistic. And they look better when they're, you know, when there's two wooden doors. Iron doors look nice. Trap door actually looks like a trap door. Uh, the nether brick fences, the normal fences, uh, paintings. Uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> I remember seeing that image a lot in my school. Uh, they always use it as a trolling, <laughs> like a troll. Oh my god, a burrito! Mmm, I love burritos. <laughs> so let's look at the slabs. If you read this, you're very stupid. <laughs> uh, I got that screwed up. Uh, if I fix those sign, those paintings, uh, the f the full M message would be better. So, anyways, let's skip that, and I'm only gonna show the mobs that are finished, since the pumpkin blur, none of the armors are done. Just to just to show you guys that I went through them. So, <laughs> uh, the creeper is finished. Oh, and uh, I also hit the mobs with the enchantment sword, so. So I can also check if the, the particle is finished for that. The zombie, only the face is finished. Uh, um, almost the same goes for the skeleton, the face and chest. I think the whole skeleton is finished. And the monster spawner is finished. Uh, any other mob I did not show, both hostile and passive, are not finished. So this is how the village will look like in this texture pack. Here we have a iron golem staring at a wall. It's proposing to the stone wall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I, I don't know where I went with that. But uh, the bookshelves, on the other hand, I don't like how these look because they're they're way too blurry. You can't even tell that there are books in there. So on certain textures, making them making them too smooth is a bad idea because everything looks blurry. You can't even tell what it is. So uh, if you can, please pick the fix the bookshelves because they don't even look like a book <laughs> so let's go up here and let's show you guys something special that I did so let's go on and hit the rain and it's snowing it's snowing get down on snow the ice tiles up nicely I wish it was a little bit more transparent but that's just me nitpicking <laughs> the the issue with the uh, again with the snow grass it doesn't towel up with the dirt uh, if you can't fix that, at least the last three pixels on the snow on the snow grass to fix that. Oh, uh, it's rain over here. I I can't make everything as taiga because I if it spreads to the other Iceland, it'll actually affect that Iceland. So here we have the brown red mushrooms. And again, thanks Lemon for giving me the suggestion on the on the snow grass to put it on top of dirt because. <laughs> Uh, a lot of texture packs have been having that issue that it doesn't towel up with the snow grass to the dirt. So thank you for that. Uh, here we have the a lonesome mushroom, which I, I actually made this Iceland uh, uh, mushroom Iceland, and they're not spawning. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to spawn a couple more cows in there later. Unfortunately, this is why I was careful with this because now the desert has become a nether biome. <laughs> <laughs> so zombie pigmen are spawning here. Uh, here we have the binds. I think the binds were also affected because I did that. In case you notice, now they look more decayed, which is kind of bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put binds uh, on other places. Oh wait, the jungle biome has binds. Never mind. Now something about the stone brick is that the sides, uh, you know, on left and right side, don't tile up nicely. Uh, this is the only thing that makes the the stronghold a little bit awkward to look at. So if you can make those towel up, whoa! <laughs> what are you doing in my face? Anyways, if you can make those towel up nicely, that would be even better. Okay, and 
and I'm glad to see that the nether warts are now growing. Now we can see the small, the medium, and the large one. Uh, unfortunately, as more time passes, they're all going to be on large size. <laughs> so I'm going to have to find a way to fix that. Uh, while I'm on the nether, the nether looks great, even more setting the biome. So the entire coloring of this place looks amazing. I like the nether, and I even like more how the obsidian looks. So props to that. Okay, so enough of the nether. Let's get out of here. Well, actually, let me kill this guy. Okay, <laughs> now let's get out of here. <laughs> the again, the nether world uh, th on this texture pack looks very great. The end, not so much because the end stone is way too yellow. It almost looks like <laughs> yellow snow. <laughs> if you get what I mean. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I just. Well, I'm not sure about uh, you guys, but I prefer my end to be either white or a unique color, not yellow. But again, that's just me. That's just personal taste. Uh, Robe can do his texture pack whichever way he feels like. If he enjoys how his texture pack look, uh, a lot of other people will also enjoy it. In my case, this is a work in progress texture pack, which means my rating will change once the pack is more completed. So at the moment, because I actually like how smooth it looks, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Upon uh, more textures being finished, that will change. If you agree with me and you would like to play Minecraft with this texture pack, please visit the description below, support Rope so that he may finish the texture pack and other changes. My name was this 69 and I hope you enjoyed the review. Until next time, take care and happy gaming. Lights.